whatever YouTube knowledge is self determination. So I'm gonna go ahead and chime in on this whole the whole Mike Brown uh, new uh, video footage from within the convenience store he supposedly quote unquote robbed. So the the footage shows him making a transaction with uh, marijuana. Now the way I understood it is that he. He basically gave a guy a bag of uh, some, 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 some grass on consignment. It came back the next day, you know, to collect his payment, which looked to be like a carton of cigarettes. One of the guys in the store, maybe this is a manager or owner or someone in a supervisory position, or maybe he just was just some guy that worked in the store, thought he was stealing. Went after him, Mike Brown kind of mushed him a little bit shoved him out of his way and kept walking out of the store. Now, I've seen pictures of Mike Brown, you know, on the internet, you know, with him holding a gun, somebody taking a picture of him, holding a gun, you know, with money in his mouth or whatever, folded up dollar bills in his mouth. Um, listen, I'm not advocating for this guy being, you know, you know, the, the freaking, uh, freaking NAACP you know, man of the year award. I'm, I'm not saying anything like that at all. I'm not advocating for 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 what this man may or may not have done in his life outside of um, being killed by the police. But what I am advocating for is the continued abuse that black people receive from law enforcement and by extension the judicial system who not only wrongly convict black people and give us unfair sentencing, we already know that there's disparity within sentencing in the judicial system and the court system, you know, but also uh, the uh, the rate at which officers are not punished for crimes against black people. And again, like I said, I'm not advocating for anything. This, for all I know, and I'm not trying to, you know, consult this man's family or anybody, um, I don't know what kind of man he was, you know, other than what the, the internet is saying about him. And all, and, and, and that's all, I'm not saying, and it's not all well and fine either. He gets caught for breaking, breaking law and committing crimes. He should go to jail for that, right? But how many instances have there been where there's a white suspect who could be, who could have committed a crime, brandishing a gun, Possibly even waving the gun at the police, like we've seen that seen happen. A policeman's first instinct is to shoot the white kid. You know? What are the odds that a white person is going to live after having an altercation with the police officer versus a black person? Because their first instinct always seems to be to shoot and kill us. I mean, come on, you can shoot a dude in the leg, you can shoot him in the arm. Listen, bullets hurt. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Now you could be you could be gone off of something, some PCP, some coke, something that has your, your have you overly stimulated and your your synapses firing on overload, you know, dulling your nerve endings so you don't really feel so much pain. I'm not talking about any anything like that. Cause in real life, bullets a bullet will sit you on your ass. So, trust me, I had first-hand experience. Now, is it always necessary? Because there are people out there trying to defend the fact that Mike Brown was killed. Even if he wasn't a bad guy, did he deserve to be murdered in the streets in cold blood by the police? Even if he was aggressive, you mean to tell me the only resolution to, to uh, calming this black man down because we all know that you guys are already intimidated and afraid of us simply because we're black. And I'm not even going to mention the guy, the, 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 the YouTube video I watched because I'm not trying to get his faggot any press. He's not even white, he's Mexican, you know? But like I've said before, you don't have to be white in order to be a white supremacist, you know? So now, again, excessive force. Why is that always the go-to? And why does that always need to be uh, how do you say, um, 
excuse when it comes to black people. There's always an excuse. You can always rationalize why a black dude needed to be executed. Look, he wasn't a bad guy, but you didn't know that at the time that he got shot. And the whole story wasn't even told. In fact, they painted the picture of him being a bad guy before you knew anything about him. So once you heard, oh, that he was probably some 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 thug dude in the street who sold marijuana or sold drugs or whatever, now you can't feel comfortable with your 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 presumption that he was a bad guy, that he was a thug. You can feel comfortable with that because you feel vindicated because it just so turns just so happens that he was. In any event. He did not deserve to be shot and murdered. Irrespective of what type of person he was, he didn't deserve to be shot and murdered. That is a trend that seems to happen in the black community with white police officers and black police officers sometimes also. There is a trend. And I'm sorry, and I'm going to say this, but if you can actually justify why this man deserved to be shot and in the same breath in the same breath, can applaud a cop who does a job, takes somebody into custody and not kill them, then I'ma just flat out and say it, fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Because plenty of white dudes and Mexican dudes do shit that they should get their heads blown off for. They get grazed and taken into custody. Right? Black dude, no gun. I've seen I've seen actual videos of white dudes fucking having guns on their person. Having a gun. And just having a, a, a nice, calm, rational conversation with the cop. Oh, yeah, I have a permit for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, this, this my legal right to carry this. And they check it and there's no problem. A black dude, oh, yeah, you know, I have a legal right to carry this. You get shot seven fucking times. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing this video right now because I don't want to get too emotionally charged. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think or not. You know, and so far as I'm concerned, the jury's already out on this. You know? We can't get any justice in the system. It's just not meant for, for us to get any justice. So we need to do something different. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. Please hang up and try again.